In this video, I'm going to share with you guys why faking gratitude is doing more harm than good and the dark side of faking gratitude. All right, you guys, so there were five top key points as to why faking gratitude does more harm than good. I'm going to list the five key points in the bottom. There's one that really resonated for me due to the mental health of my family and the multiple suicides I experienced and my mom's stage four pancreatic cancer. I think with everything in life, there's always a path. And if you continue to seek answers to understanding certain things, there's always a path that will lead you. And so that's why when I hit this one key point when I was researching this video, I stopped. And that's what I wanna speak about just in case any of you guys have mental health issues, ailments within your body, or you have family members or loved ones, or maybe even someone that you're dating that's struggling with mental health issues. So the one key point that really stood out to me is that it creates cognitive dissonance. And what that does is it reduces motivation to change. Cognitive dissonance is essentially the same as having no secrets from yourself. Like your mind knows the truth. That's why so many affirmations don't work because deep down, you know you're full of shit. Meaning if you are extremely depressed, waking up in the morning and saying that you're happy and your life is filled with joy, you're creating cognitive dissonance within yourself. You're lying to yourself. You're portraying your external avatar to speak this and walk this, but deep down you don't really feel it. So you're creating distance from yourself. And the reason why this is dangerous is because suppressed emotions will always find a way to manifest. I have become very passionate about mental health. Anyone that follows my channel knows that my dad committed suicide, then my little sister, and then I lost my mom to stage four cancer. And when I started studying every possibility as to how this happened and why this happened, the reason why this resonated so much for me is because it said unresolved emotions will always find a way to manifest. And where do you think it manifests? It manifests within our bodies. So you can look to your ailments. There's always a path and that path always leads you back to you. So let's create the mental map for you so you can understand how this works. So I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, unresolved emotions always find a way to manifest in the body. So let's look to my dad's suicide. What do I know? I know that, that was a man that avoided conflict tooth and nail, but avoiding conflict in his external world was only creating conflict within his internal world. He suppressed everything he felt, everything he should have said and didn't say, every single emotion he felt until what? Until he decided to take his own life. That cognitive dissonance that he was creating was pushing him so far away from his spirit and it creates a loneliness. And I know that my dad was simple. He woke up every day just grateful for X, Y, Z. It's like, fine, be grateful, but don't ignore the white elephant in the room. You have to acknowledge these emotions. You cannot use gratitude as a band-aid. You cannot use gratitude without any intention below it. It's like, yes, be grateful, but let's also circle back and heal this. And then when I move on and I look to my little sister's suicide, it was a very similar path. Towards the end, she did start to speak her mind, but her truth was not acknowledged and her truth was not heard. I'm telling you guys this because there's always a path. Look to your ailments. There's something deeper that's not being acknowledged it's being suppressed and the body will tell you exactly where that is. So when I looked to my mom, she died of stage four pancreatic cancer and it took her down very fast. And when I started studying that, I know her childhood trauma, which was that she was raped continuously from her mom's boyfriends. I know this is an intense topic, but you guys, we have to learn this stuff because there's always a path leading us back to us with our ailments with our sicknesses. I started to connect the dots. I'm like, pancreatic cancer, I'm like, where does that manifest? It manifests in the solar plexus chakra, which is at your belly button. So then I looked to the chakra system and it is root at the base, sacral, solar. Pancreatic cancer manifests in the solar chakra. I thought it would be the sacral. It's not, it's the solar chakra. And the solar chakra is responsible for what? your personal power and your self-esteem. That started to create the map because I knew that from my mom's childhood, what did she do? Her unsuppressed emotions continue to manifest as what? As alcoholism, as drug addiction, as being promiscuous, 
giving her personal power away because that chakra was so imbalanced and it continued to manifest until she was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. She continued to suppress the emotion and just slap prayer on it. Continue to suppress the emotion and slap gratitude on it. You have to acknowledge these emotions. You cannot use gratitude as a band-aid. All right guys, hopefully this video was helpful and not too intense. I'm always just trying to create a path for you guys, a path for you to follow, to heal your own ailments and speak to your own mental health issues or any type of emotional struggles that you're having. I guess a clear, concise message for this video is don't complicate gratitude, but also don't have it be something that's on your to-do list. Find one moment, find one memory that lights your entire body up and just sit there in that moment as long as you can because your mind doesn't care what words you're speaking and how many different words you're feeding it. All it cares about is the emotional state that you're feeling. Are you able to inject your cells with this feeling of gratitude that is so overwhelming, it just lights you up from the inside out? That's all you need to do. On that note, I wanted to give one shameful plug, something I've been working on, because I am very passionate about affirmations and gratitude and healing. I started creating something called Soul Sync Sessions, and this is based on the NLP method of presuppositions and embedded commands. What embedded commands are and how they are different from affirmations is that they are framed in a way that is very suggestive to your subconscious mind. I then create a rhythmic pattern and put them over music. To elaborate quickly, what I mean is, instead of saying an affirmation, that might say, let's just keep it simple, I'm happy when you're not. An embedded command would say, you have the ability to feel happy at any time. Do you see how different that feels? That's like, yeah, you're right, I do. It's a possibility. It's priming your mind with possibilities instead of bullshit. I have a whole library of them that I'm creating for you guys. I have three that are done now and they're in the description box below. I have a handful of them for anger because we all know my anger management struggle. Um, so I will be putting those down below. Check them out because they are a great addition to any type of self-improvement you're doing for yourself. All right, guys, I am back every Wednesday. My name is Angela Jean. Everything is in the description box below along with some more information about today's topic. Why? Faking gratitude can do more harm than good. And if you want me to elaborate on anything else, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next week. You know that you have something in you more powerful and miraculous. You take a higher view of things.